everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel Kalanadi. Today I'm going to be reviewing Persona by Genevieve Valentine. I think Persona wants to be a futuristic political thriller. The idea is that each country is represented by a beautiful celebrity diplomat called a face. They are literally just representing their countries and they don't have any power. The real political power is wielded by the face's handlers. The protagonist, Suyana Sapaki, is the face of the United Amazonian Rainforest Confederation, and she's not the best person to be a face. Appearances are everything, but Suyana is not incredibly beautiful, she's not all that charming, and she can be scarily intense. Prior to the story starting, the UARC went through a scandal uh, involving a terrorist attack on a building or a company owned by the United States, and Suyana has been scrambling trying to increase her country's standing and political clout. At the moment that she is trying to set up a fake relationship with the face of the United States for some good political PR, Somebody tries to kill her. Suyana survives the assassination attempt, but she loses her handler, the International Assembly disavows her, and her only help while she's on the run trying to find out what happened is a paparazzo photographer named Daniel. Daniel was hoping to get a few good shots of Suyana in a compromising position when he actually takes a picture of her getting shot, and he just happens to be in the right or wrong place as Suyana is running away, and he offers to help her against his better judgment and lands himself in this situation as well. Basically, this is a couple hundred pages of a celebrity diplomat slowly revealing that she is actually involved in an eco-terrorist organization while being helped by a paparazzo struggling with his conscience about helping her versus selling her out for money. I guess there are some decent questions in this book. I'm still struggling to figure out what this book is trying to say about the world and the politics it's talking about and the characters' internal struggles. I think a big question is um, who really has political power in the International Assembly? Can faces ever have power? Can they ever gain any power? Um, what are their handlers trying to do? And what what is the world like when absolutely nobody can trust each other? Everybody seems to be judged based on their appearances when actually underneath the surface some terrible things are happening. Everybody is hiding behind these masks. I'm going to heavily compare persona with Valentine's previous book called The Girls at the Kingfisher Club, which I read relatively recently. I know this might be kind of an unfair comparison because these are two very different books. Their genres and their stories and their characters are pretty different, but one of these was really good and one of them wasn't so much. The Girls of the Kingfisher Club set some expectations for me about Valentine's ability as a writer and a storyteller, and I just feel like by comparing these two, I might be able to explain Persona a little bit better. First, the writing in The Kingfisher Club was very memorable. It created this atmosphere and tone for the story that I don't think I'm ever going to forget. It was very impressive and it just contributed to the story being so powerful. But Persona was not like this. The writing in Persona just was. It was kind of dull and very average feeling to me. I would not have guessed that the same person wrote these books because I thought that the storytelling and the language in The Girls at the Kingfisher Club was much more masterful and thought out. Occasionally in Persona there would be these little flashes of that elegant prose or those interesting turns of phrase and um, asides and parenthetical deviations which were very heavily present in the Girls of the Kingfisher Club, but it was very rare. So yeah, overall the language in Persona just felt kind of dull to me. The other thing is that the Girls of the Kingfisher Club had very strong themes. It had a message about female empowerment, which was very clear, and it felt inspiring to read. It had uh, some very stoic characters, like the main character Joe, who is strong, but also shows you her internal struggles, her conflict, and some heartbreak, some very difficult decisions that she has to make. And it felt all of this was lacking 
absent in persona. Suyana was a very strong, emotionally contained, stoic character like Joe from Girls of the Kingfisher Club, but her emotions, or rather her, her motivations, why she made certain decisions made very little sense to me. It felt like a lot of her internal thought processes and her past all happened off screen prior to the book starting. And I needed to know more about that to understand uh, Suyana as a character and sympathize with her. Suyana's character and her relationships also don't noticeably change during the story, which was disappointing. The character of Daniel rubbed me the wrong way. I honestly can't figure out what Valentine was trying to say with his character. If there is some sort of theme or message about him being a paparazzi photographer, it was perhaps too obscure or uninteresting for me to really catch it. I don't know if she's trying to say something about these people like Daniel taking pictures of, of other people in their most vulnerable moments and then splashing it across the newsstands. So Daniel is trying to rebuild his life after running away from South Korea. He escaped South Korea after taking the wrong picture at the wrong time of South Korea's face. And I didn't really feel sorry for him because, you know, that's great. You're trying to rebuild your life, but you're doing the same thing all over again. He's still taking pictures of people, taking the wrong pictures at the wrong times. Like, did you not learn? Why are, Why is he doing this job? If he has some sort of higher calling or reason for being a photographer, I didn't understand what it was. I felt like he was just part of a system that invaded privacy without really having journalistic merit and he came off as skeevy to me. Character-wise, one thing that I did appreciate in the story is the diversity in the cast. The story is international. It, it takes place in Paris, France. Suyana is a Peruvian and she represents a South American nation. Daniel is South Korean. The face of Great Britain named Grace is a black lesbian woman, which I thought was a really good touch. I wanted to know way more about her character. She was like the most interesting character in the book for me. And there were some other touches of this for secondary characters. I thought it was presented quite naturally. So by the end of this book, I felt like Valentine was trying to say something about celebrity culture out of control, about politics, but I never felt like she fully developed this theme. I never felt like she went the full way towards talking about it. And it just sort of ended when I thought it was getting the most interesting about what Suyana was going to do next. Like what was gonna happen after this? What are the repercussions of what happens in the story? I wanted to know that. I thought that was actually more interesting and more telling about the message than everything that came before it. The effort in this story felt average compared to Valentine's previous book. I was quite let down on many aspects, on most elements of the story, like character development and writing and plot. It just did not live up to my expectations at all. So I ended up giving this three out of five stars. I really just felt like it was average. It was okay. It was nothing special and it really could have been and it wasn't. My recommendation is that if you want to read something by Genevieve Valentine, start with the Girls at the Kingfisher Club. I really enjoyed that and maybe skip Persona unless there's something about the premise or the characters that sounds really interesting to you. If you read this book, I would really like to know what you thought about it because I feel like maybe I missed something, but mostly I feel like it was just lacking. That's it for my review of Persona. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll be back to talk to you again in my next video. Bye.